Hello, my Woop friends. Finally, the time has come. There are new, better LiPos from Beta FPV. The Beta FPV Lava 2 LiPos. More power, higher C rate, less voltage sag, less weight. This is really a small sensation, my Woop friends. Finally, there is once again a small step forward in LiPo technology. And the best thing about it, I can prove to you in this video and show clearly for everyone that the new LAVA 2 LiPos perform better than the first LAVA LiPos and even better than our beloved legendary Black Tattoo LiPos. If you've been watching my videos for a while, then you know that the LiPo is the biggest bottleneck in the entire system of our tiny whoops. If your LiPo can't deliver the power, then even the best brushless motor won't do you much good. The LiPo is basically the foundation, the powerhouse in our tiny whoops. That's why I'm very happy to bring you this good news. I can already tell you now that the new Lava 2 LiPos are probably the most powerful 300 to 320 milliampere hours LiPos on the market. And at 8.0 grams, they are also the lightest. 0.2 to 0.4 grams lighter than the competition. This is also the case with the 480 milliampere hours to 680 milliampere hours Lava 2 LiPos, which I have also weighed and tested. I also have to say right away that I have only tested the pre-production version of the Beta FPV Lava 2 LiPos. According to Beta FPV, the final version of the Lava 2 LiPos is slightly lighter again and has a green-yellow design. My statements in this video refer only to the pre-production versions of the Lava 2 LiPos that I tested. The price of the LiPos will be between $20 and $25, depending on the LiPo size. The sizes of the Lava 2 LiPos will be 280 milliampere hours, 320 milliampere hours, 480 milliampere hours, 580 milliampere hours, and 680 milliampere hours. Beta FPV has already sent a package that is currently on its way to me with the final version of the Lava 2 LiPos, which I will of course also test for you, my whoop friends. Stay tuned. In this video, I test and compare the new Lava 2 One Cell HV320 milliampere hours 95C LiPos with the old Lava One Cell HV300 milliampere hours 75C LiPos and with the legendary Tattoo One Cell HV300 milliampere hours 75C LiPos. The flight time of the Lava 2 LiPos is good and is roughly in the same range as the Tattoo LiPos, as you will see later in the video. The biggest strength of the Lava 2 LiPos lies in the high C rate, which allows for consistently high thrust, which I measured with a simple thrust test stand. More on that later in this video. First, I tested and compared the LiPos in flight with the Air 65 Race Whoop from Beta FPV. And I immediately noticed that the Lava 2 LiPos are exceptionally good. The consistently higher power is very nice. I could definitely feel the higher thrust. But I'll be honest with you, I was also very satisfied with the black Tatu LiPos. Something felt different with the Tatu LiPos. I can't directly say better, but different. Maybe it's the higher peak power that shows up in my thrust test, as you'll see later in this video. Maybe that gives the motor response a slight advantage. A few milliseconds quicker reaction. I don't know, my whoop friends. The difference is too small for that. But I can tell you that the Lava 2 LiPos have a slightly different flight characteristic compared to the Tattoo LiPos. The continuous power is definitely better with the Lava 2 LiPos. The C rate is definitely higher. That much is clear and will be noticeable for all pilots who can take advantage of the power of a whoop. I also tested all the other Lava 2 LiPos from Beta FPV, and it was the same with all of them they all have the same characteristics and consistently higher power. I flew the LiPos with my lightly modified Beta FPV Air 65 Race Whoop with AWG 20 main cable. In this video, I decided not to show flight footage comparisons because they are not representative enough to clearly and understandably show the performance of a LiPo. Honestly, also because the weather was not ideal for LiPo test flights. It was windy and cold, on some days even below five degrees. That's why I did a few indoor hover test flights to determine the flight times of the different LiPos and then did a thrust test with a simple thrust test stand. For this, I selected the heaviest and the lightest LiPo of each size and brand and divided them into two groups, the group with the heavy LiPos and the group with the light LiPos. Within each group, there is one TADU 1-cell HV300 mAh 75C LiPo, 
one lava one cell HV 300 milliampere hours 75 C lipo, and one lava two one cell HV 320 milliampere hours 95 C lipo. The result of the thrust test is quite clear. The lava two lipos definitely have higher continuous thrust, as you can see and also hear in the following recordings. Theoretically, the sound alone is enough to tell which lipo has the highest continuous thrust or respectively the highest C rate. That's why I added a little guessing game at the end of the thrust test recordings, where you can try to guess based on the sound which tone belongs to which lipo. The interesting and surprising thing for me during the thrust test was that the effect of the higher short-term maximum thrust of the Tatu lipos was clearly visible. The sample size is too small to deliver truly representative results, but the tendency is visible. And that would explain my theory about the slightly different flight characteristics between the Tatu and the Lava 2 lipos. What I can say with certainty is that the Lava 2 lipos deliver what they promise regarding the C rate. The Lava 2 95C lipos definitely have a higher real-life C rate than the Tatu lipos with 75C. Neither lipo has such a high C rate in real life, of course. But let's say if the real C rate of the Tatu lipos is 40C, then it could well be that the Lava 2 lipos are 45C or 50C. I'm not going to calculate it, my whoop friends. In any case, definitely higher. And that is very pleasing and will make many pilots happy. I'm sure of that. How long the durability of the Lava 2 lipos will be still has to show, but the performance is already solid.
The result of the hover flight time test shows very similar flight times for all LiPos in the test. The sample size and the differences between the LiPos are too small to deliver truly representative results, but enough to show the overall tendency. What I can definitely say is that the LAVA-2 LiPos definitely don't have to hide and fall in the mid-range or even the upper range of the spectrum. Flight time lovers will definitely not be disappointed, but also not extremely excited. There were no big surprises here. I show the full recordings of the hover flight time test in this video for anyone who wants to see them. The picture at the end of each test flight shows the recovery voltage of the LiPo 10 minutes after a test flight. Before I show you these boring recordings, where probably even the last viewers will drop out of this video, I would like to ask you to briefly consider whether this video brought you value and whether you can support this YouTube channel financially. If yes, then you can do that on ko-fi.com. I'm grateful for every support. Write in the comments what you think of the new Beta FPV Lava 2. And if you want to buy the new Lava 2 LiPos from Beta FPV, then please use the affiliate link in the video description to show Beta FPV that you appreciate my work. Thank you in advance. Happy flying, my whoop friends!
Some additional information can be found in the video description. Please watch my many other tutorials on this YouTube channel if you want to know more about how to modify a tiny boop or how to learn FPV flying and racing. Also, check out the tips and tricks in my YouTube community. I hope you enjoyed my video and that you could learn something. Unfortunately, these videos are a lot of work and the costs are not nearly covered by the sponsorship of the material. That's why I appreciate any financial support. You can find the link to my Kofi website in the video description. Of course, I also appreciate likes, new subscribers and most of all your comments. Together we will bring the FPV hobby to new levels. Happy flying my Vogue friends! See you next time on this YouTube channel. New videos are coming soon. Stay tuned my Vogue friends!